Alright guys, um, what's going on? So before you watch this video, um, when I'm referring to YouTube gaming, cause I'm a moron, um, I really just mean YouTube, but I, I, I've heard so many people when they make the switch call it YouTube gaming, I just call it YouTube gaming, I forgot YouTube gaming got like cancelled ever back in like 2017. So when I'm referring to YouTube gaming, I'm literally just meaning YouTube, but you guys get the point, hope you guys enjoy the video. Now you may be asking yourself, why, why should you listen to me, right? I don't have hardly any subscribers on YouTube, I don't, I'm not even a Twitch partner. So what could I possibly know about which platform you should choose to live stream on? Well, all the information that I'm giving you guys today is information that is either provided by YouTube Gaming or Twitch TV um, or has been put out there by creators who have a way bigger platform than me and some of them have made the switch. Um, so let's get into it. I know a lot, there's been a lot of talk lately that YouTube Gaming is the move. If you're not on YouTube Gaming, you're doing it wrong. YouTube Gaming is the move if you have a somewhat following already on YouTube. Or you have a really strong community. And by strong community, I mean people who would walk out right now into the street, walk on the railroad tracks, and, and let a train run over them for you, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Because a majority of people that are, I guess, your so-called hardcore supporters on Twitch will not follow you to YouTube, right? Because let's say that they watch, I don't know, come on with a number, six creators, right, on Twitch. And you're only one of those. If they are not the most diehard fan of you and you go to YouTube, they're not coming with you. I mean, you need to have a pretty steady following and a huge, huge group of people to go over there. In my opinion, right? You need to have diehard people who are willing to die for you um, if you're going to go over to YouTube. Now, YouTube has a lot of pros versus Twitch, right? You could set your prices for subs. Um, you know, your, your live stream hours count towards uh, YouTube partner if you're trying to get YouTube partner still. Um, so that's also a big W. So there are pros to YouTube gaming. You also get, I think it's 70% of, of the sub money. So 70% of the money off subs you get. Now, here are a few cons that come with YouTube gaming. Uh, you can't give subs. So that's a big feature, a feature that Twitch has that you can't do on YouTube gaming. Um, and gifted subs is actually a, a big part of a lot of people's profits on the channels. I know personally, for me, a majority of the profits I make off my Twitch channel are from gifted subs. Um, I normally make more money off the gifted subs than I do uh, reoccurring subs just because of the size that I'm at and stuff like that. So if someone wants to help you beyond um, just subbing to your, just subbing, like becoming like a, what is it, like pro member or something like that on your channel, um, they can't do that, right? So unless you have like a Patreon or something like that, there's no really other way for them to support you further when you're doing YouTube, especially if you're not YouTube partner yet. Um, you know, it's it's weird. Also, you have to think about DMCA. Um, I know there's like DMCA strikes and stuff like that on Twitch, but you have to play nothing but royalty-free music on YouTube uh, if you're streaming. Or else, I'm pretty sure like your entire thing like gets taken down or you're going to get copyright strike. So, you got to think about that too when you're making a switch from Twitch. Because I know a lot of people that play DMCA music, they have alerts that have, you know, songs in them. You got to think about, you're going to have to change a lot of stuff that you do because YouTube is very strict when it comes to copyrights. So when you're doing stuff over on YouTube, um, you got you to gotta take a look at that, right? Like I said, there's a lot of pros to YouTube, but there's also a lot of cons compared to Twitch. Now, I get it. A lot of people are upset as of late on Twitch about the whole meta thing, watching TV shows, um, and how Twitch doesn't pay us a lot. I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit here. I get it. We're very upset that Twitch doesn't pay us a lot. But Twitch never started off as a platform for you to be able to make money off of, right? Twitch was just a platform where you come on, you can hang out with people, um, and just stream, right? And so when a lot of people are trying to make this a career, like myself, start looking like, dang, bro, I'm not, you know, I'm getting kind of gypped. And I get that. And, you know, hopefully we can get that changed one day. But we also can't be like, man, I forget Twitch. I'm going to YouTube. Like I said, bro, unless you have super diehard people, in, in, especially right now with how early on YouTube gaming is starting to pick up momentum, I don't think it's a good move unless you have an established YouTube channel. Unless you have established people who would go, like I said, go out in the street right now and would walk out in front of train tracks for you, okay? Like, it's not, in my opinion, I don't think it's the best move. And like I said, unless you have an established channel. So, like, I'm thinking, like, your YouTube partner, and you've got at least, I would say, 50K subscribers, 40K. I think, in my opinion, um, to go over to YouTube Gaming, right? Um, and that's if you stream. Some of you might not stream on, uh, you know, so if you don't stream this video, you don't have to worry about it. Um, 
But like, I just, it's hard, man. It's hard, right? Because you see all these bigger people going to YouTube. So you think, oh, I should go, right? Because you want to follow the leader, right? You want to follow the Tim the Tap Mans um, of the world, right? You want to follow them to YouTube gaming. But guys, let's all be honest with ourselves. None of us are Tim the Tap Man. None of us have 4 million subscribers or we're pulling, you know, 50 freaking K on Twitch or whatever it is. We don't have that group of people to follow us over to YouTube Gaming, right? So you got to ask yourself, right? Like, I think at some point, maybe YouTube Gaming will become the move if they can figure stuff out, right? If they can get a gifted sub process um, and things like that, I think YouTube Gaming could eventually become the future. I'm not saying that they're not, but it, it, it's it, that they will, but it's a possibility. But Twitch is still dominant when it comes to streaming. Whether people like it or not, whether you like what Twitch does or not, they are still king at the end of the day. They're, I mean, listen, they got Amazon, so it's not like Twitch is going to die anytime soon either. I know a lot of people think Twitch is going to die, but they're owned by freaking Jeff Bezos. You really believe, y'all really believe for a minute that Twitch is just going to die? Bro, they're owned by Amazon. And Jeff Bezos got plenty of money, bro. So you really think he's going to let Twitch die anytime soon? Absolutely not. Um, so you, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of pros and cons. Like the pros of Twitch are the gifted subs, the bits, which you don't have on YouTube gaming either. You don't have bits or, and you don't have gifted subs. That's two things of revenue taken away from you. Um, you know, it's, but I get the appeal. I get the appeal, right? Because Twitch is a very weird platform when you're on Twitch, right? And you're wanting, and you do it for a job, right? The way you're looking at it is is this. You're gonna pay you're paying me money, right? Um like I need like like it's this weird dilemma on Twitch, right? Where like you don't want to feel like you're begging or asking people for subs, but at the same time, if you're doing it for money, you kind of do need to ask for subs and you kind of do need these gifted subs and stuff like that. Whereas YouTube, I've I've heard the point is, well, bro, all they gotta do is come up and support. And that's great. But like I said, you gotta get YouTube partner and a bunch of other stuff, and you need to have a pretty good size. Um, to make the money that you would make off Twitch off YouTube, right? Like that's that's the that's the trade off. So I get it. A lot of people who don't like the whole. I feel like I'm asking people for subs on on stream and stuff like that. Like I'm not saying like people are actually asking people, begging people for subs, but I'm saying a lot of people who do Twitch full time feel like sometimes when they go live that they're asking for people's money every single time, or they feel like there's pressure on the viewer to give them money, right? Because you know, it is the it is your income. Um, it is how you make money. So you do need subs. You do need gifted subs. You do need bits, right? Um, so it's this weird thing where you like feel kind of bad. So that is a con of Twitch where you feel like that. Whereas YouTube, it's really not much like that, right? It's kind of more of you can just kind of come up and support um, and just watch. And you are supporting them in a better way. Um, so like I said, there is that there is that con to Twitch. And then YouTube Gaming picks up that pro. Um, so like I said, Twitch is, Twitch is still king now, right? Twitch is still king. It always will be king. I don't know how you possibly stop Twitch from being the best streaming platform out there. Um, now discoverability is an issue, right? Discoverability is something that a lot of people like, um, on Twitch or on YouTube. Um, because Twitch doesn't really have discoverability, right? Like, you go on the platform in, like, like, let's be honest here. If you're in Call of Duty Warzone, and let's say you're at page, I don't know, four, the chances of someone finding you are very low because there's so many people streaming, right? And there's not really a way for you to get discovered on Twitch. That's why when people tell you when you Twitch stream, to always make content on other platforms because that way people can discover you um, and come to your Twitch channel. Um, so, you know, that's a big, that's a big thing. With Twitch is discoverability, whereas YouTube, it's not really, like, it, it, it's different, right? It's different. But when you're live streaming on YouTube, there's not really a way to discover that either. Um, so, like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that double-edged sword. Like, YouTube is better for discoverability, but if you're putting out videos, your discoverability would be good. But if you're live streaming on YouTube, your live streams aren't really going to get discovered as much. Um, the only people that are really going to see your live streams are people that are subscribed to you on your YouTube channel, so... Like I said, I get the points here. I get why, you know, everyone thinks the way they do about all this stuff. Um, and I get, like, the whole, like, DMCA thing is a big thing to look at, in my opinion. I think the DMCA thing 
and the following that you have are the two biggest things you guys need to look at when you're thinking about the switch to YouTube. Um, over Twitch um, is DMCA as far as you playing copyrighted music and you know stuff like that and watching like YouTube videos um, and you know the the following you have. How many people are really gonna come with you over to YouTube gaming? How like, like you got to think to yourself, most of your viewers, how many more people do they watch on Twitch? Because if there's like nine people they watch and you're the only person that's going over to YouTube gaming, they're going to stick on Twitch, bro. I hate to break it to you, but unless they are a super diehard fan of you, they're probably not going to go over to YouTube because it's going to be less convenient for them. When all their other best, all their other favorite creators are right over on Twitch. Um, so that's my opinion on YouTube gaming versus Twitch and which one I think you guys uh, should choose. Like I said, there's a lot of things you guys need to look at. In my opinion, if you're live streaming, I think you should still stick on Twitch. But if you have a really big following on YouTube gaming... Um, if you like that would be a good mode for you, go over to YouTube Gaming. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of things you guys need to look at as far as the ways you're going to be making revenue on each platform, um, stuff that people are able to do to can uh, support you further than just clicking the sub button and other things like that. So that's my opinion. Um, I'm gonna maybe do more videos like this if you guys like this one. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. On you know, are you thinking about switching to YouTube Gaming? Or are you going to stick on Twitch until YouTube Gaming proves that it's going to be king and then you're going to make the switch? So let me know down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, man, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.